all, this is The Ride with Roland and today I found some very, very interesting news for you. I found the best sound system for on a motorcycle. Oh wow. Oh wow. Woo! Surprise, surprise, it is even under $50. What? Or euros. Cue the intro. Okay, some of you will say you should not listen to music on a motorcycle. And others prefer to listen to music while riding. For me personal, I like to listen to music because the wind is a kind of boring tune. Especially when you're doing some kind of long ride. When you adjust the volume to a certain level, instead of all to the max, you can still easily hear the traffic around you. So, let's start. I'm gonna let you hear a comparison. This is how normally a helmet sound system sounds like. And this is my system. Do you hear the difference? Yeah, I thought so. Now, since I'm a musician and studio engineer, sound is kind of important to me. But here is the thing. All these sound systems out there can cost you a serious lot of money and even worse, even the most expensive one sounds like crap, comparing to a decent headphone. The wind always seems to interfere no matter the price. Plus, I wear air protection for the wind, so the music will even sound more worse. <laughs> I need to put the volume on 10, and even then it is hard to hear what song it is. Especially with new songs, you don't know, you're like all the time, huh? Is that a guitar? What? Huh? What? <laughs> now, what if I tell you? That I found a sound system that sounds like a dream and it is less than $50 or so. Yeah, eat that Senna and Cardo and all the other overpriced bullshit out there. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, I hate to disappoint you, but it is indeed that good. The sound on my motorcycle I can compare with a high-end studio sound system. Oh yeah, and that one was 25,000 euros. What? <laughs> so make sure you watch this whole video before you're gonna buy a way too overpriced sound system. What sounds like every band without a bassist and with one new band member in it. Willy Wind, playing the same tune over and over again in every song. Oh, and you also don't need to cut in your helmet. In the end of the video I will also tell you about the pros and the cons of this sound system. And of course I will tell you where you can buy it. Don't you just hate those videos where people come with a solution, but it seems like to be impossible to buy it. <laughs> nah, not here. I will show you. Let me first tell you how I got to this wonderful solution. I own some kind of Chinese Senna. Well, works pretty good for the money. Except for the lack of bass in the sound and Willy Win doing a solo in every song. I think it was only $50 or so. Not so much. But I have multiple, multiple, I have several helmets. Three in my case. Why? Well, yeah, an adventure helmet on a racer is not the best plan. When I'm riding fast and I will look upwards, I will break my neck then. It is a bad idea. So only one helmet has audio and I need to figure out how to get audio on my other helmets also. It's nice for your navigation app to tell you, hey, you need to go to the left, right. And it's nice to listen to music. Point is, I needed a second sound system which would not break the bank. Because after all, I'm a musician with an empty calendar since Corona. So cheap is the magic word here. Here's the solution. I'm holding it in my hand right now. This is just a Bluetooth receiver. Hold on, hold on. Don't click away just yet because this is just a part of the plan. It is the second thing which makes a big difference. Just continue watching. You won't regret it. And it is very, very small and light. However, this thing can play audio for about 8 to 10 hours long. And it can very quick recharge. I've tried several ones, but this one I found is actually very, very good and very cheap. It has volume buttons on it and a play and pause button and that's it. And that's all you need. But here is the thing. With normal earplugs, this can be a drama. They fall out when you take off your helmet, they will hurt you or they will not fit correctly when you put your helmet on. And there is Willy Wind again playing in a band you're listening to. <laughs> so I tried something else. 
Let me give you a little background story here. When I am performing on stage, I use this in-ear monitor system. So I can hear what I want to hear and it cancels out almost all the other noises on the stage. So I can focus on the sounds I want to listen to. Well, my in-ear system was kind of expensive. I think it was around 2000 euros or something like that. And the in-ear monitors were around 1000 euros. But I like to have a spare from everything because if things break down in the middle of the heat, then I'm kind of f***. However, I was not to plan to buy another expensive one as a spare because maybe I will never use it because it is a spare. So in a perfect world, that means I'm never gonna use it. I found this one and tested it and they just sound freaking amazing. Well, for the money that it costs, it sounds really way, way better than you would expect. Just for the record, these are 15 euros and these were 1000 euros. And you're not gonna believe it, but the cheapos sound better than the expensive ones. What? <laughs> you got way more bass in the cheap ones. And the expensive ones are more focused on the mid-range of the vocals. These are made for on stage and these are more focused for listening to music. And so I've tried this one with this little Bluetooth receiver and wow. <laughs> I could hear a strong bass again. I could hear the tiniest details in music again. Well, with the Sina and Cardo, I sometimes just had to guess what song is playing. And since these are also made to dim the sounds around you. You don't need any earplugs anymore for the wind. If you would decide not to listen to music while riding. So you got two for the price of one. Ear protection, great sound. So because these are also damping, you can put the volume kinda low. You still can have a great sound in music and you can hear the environment around you. And if you put the volume up, well, you got the best sound ever in a helmet, but yeah, be careful because you're not gonna hear the traffic around you at all. <laughs> in case you wonder if this shot is filmed on a different day, then you are absolutely right. Before I go to the pros and cons of this system, I wanna tell you about some awesome news I have. So what is this awesome news then Roland? Why do you need to interrupt this brilliant video? Good question. This week I've started my page on Patreon. Yay! And if you're sick and tired about my poor musician story, now you can help me by becoming a patron. Or as I like to call it, a super fan. Yay! <laughs> I've added some huge benefits when you become a patron. So just take a quick look there after the video. I will put a link in the description below. All right, let's move on. So here are the pros. It is very cheap. You don't need any ear protection anymore. It sounds just way, way, way better than all the other systems out there. Trust me. The battery will hold very, very long. And here are the cons, because nothing is perfect in life. It is not built in your helmet. It means you need to put it on every time. However, I don't know if you can see it, but this is actually filled with a strong metal and you're gonna fold it over your ear like this. And you can pull what you want to this. It's not gonna drop out of your ear. So if you put on your helmet, it will not plop fall out, it will stay there. Because this is made for that. But yeah, you need to put it on every time. The next con is it can irritate your ear for a long time. But I think that counts for any kind of stuff you put in your ear. If it's like uh, ear protection or whatever, it will, it can irritate after a while. Next con, it is easy to cancel out the traffic with this one. So be very careful with that. Next con, it is not a communication system. You cannot talk to other bikers with it, like, hey, how are you doing? It's impossible. It's not made for that. You can only listen to music or directions or whatever, and that's where it's made for. And the next con is you need, of course, uh, a phone or something for that. Or your GPS, if it supports Bluetooth, but it's not a standalone thing, of course. Now I can have music on whatever helmet I'm gonna wear without need to cut in the helmet or whatever. It's nice to hear the directions because when I'm on a motorcycle, I don't want to look down all the time to my navigation because then my eyes are on the navigation and not on the road. And that can be, of course, very, very dangerous. So I rather hear in my ears, hey, man, you have to go to the left. And then I check which left, you know, sometimes you have a left later on. Whatever helmet, whatever motorcycle I'm going to ride. So I'm going to put a link to the headphones and to the Bluetooth receiver 
in the description below. It is an affiliate link and it means basically that you also support me when you buy it. It is the same price if you just buy it on Amazon or buy my link. There's not a price difference, but you're supporting me a little bit then. If you're thinking about a new sound system in your helmet, I really advise you to consider this one. The sound is just way better than the most expensive sound system out there. For less than $50 or euros, you will get a complete new experience with a helmet sound. Listening to a live registration. Wow. Listening to a recorded live concert. It's like you're in the middle of the concert. Well, that will be nice again, a live concert. Mm. But anyway, this was it for now. I hope you liked my video and I catch you the next time. And remember, drive safe. Mm.